Can you still remember it? Can you still remember your assignments? What was your assignments nga? So your assignments was um, is to search no, for the uh, days of uh, ripening and the days of harvesting. Uh, tinanong ng estudyante ko kanina paano sir kung uh, my fruits or my isang crops na uh, hindi na hinihintay ang ripening before harvesting. Sabi ko na lang, uh, you look for the harvesting and the time that uh, are ready to consume yung crops. So yun, so ilang, ilang araw, no, baka lalabas sa exam yan, uh, yung mga uh, ganyang tanong. It talks about the timeline of uh, when and uh, when, no, kung kailan inyo pwedeng i-harvest or kailan yung floating stage or floating stage or ripening stage and harvest stage ng, uh, ng isang crops. Ayan. So again, uh, our discussion for tonight, it will be bacteriology uh, or molecules, uh, bacteriology slash molecules and uh, mycology. And again, anyong hasayo everyone? Anyong hasayo? So this is your... Uh, your, this is Angelo so sing name, no? your teacher for tonight. Yeah, bakit ako nag -ano, mag korean I really like to ano, to talk Korean talaga. So, it's Hangul. And who among you here loves Korean drama? K-drama. I know na marami sa inyong love ng Korean drama. Ay, iniba na. May binago, may in-update pala sa ano, sa Google Meet. Okay. So, among, who among you here loves K-drama? Who watch K-drama? Sige nga, raise your hand. Who among you here are watching K-dramas? Wala? Walang may gustong manood ng mga K-drama? You love Philippine drama? Pinoy na ano? Mga drama or you love mga, you love GMA <laughs> you love GMA no ano yung tawag dun uh, abot kamay ang pangarap hmm? you watch that again everyone again good evening and this class for tonight it is a recorded class class so after this no you can watch it uh, by tomorrow morning. And again, uh, I want you to have your notes with you because today, uh, tonight, it will be a more interesting part of uh, crop protection and that will be uh, plant pathology. So I will not discuss anymore the history of the uh, plant patho. So you mga history ng plant patho and uh, uh, it will be more discussed uh, sa final coaching. But don't worry because the recordings for the plant pathology, the principles, and the history is already been given to you sa, ano, sa G Drive. No? Uh, please check yung day one na folder sa crop protection. That will be that is a plant pathology. No, it is the principles of the plant pathology and also the history of plant pathology. Okay, so please check on that so, so that you have idea. Uh, the abiotic and the biotic factors of the plant pathology. Okay, so when we talk about plant pathology, from the word itself, pathology, it means it talks about the diseases. No? Uh, ano ba yung uh, diseases na nakaka-apekto or nakakababa ng yield or magkakaroon ng decreasing of yield or loss of yield? So ano ba yung mga diseases na yun? So some of the, some, not all diseases are harmful, no? But some of the diseases are um, helpful and uh, have a beneficial effect to the environment. Okay, so uh, to to start, so let's have first the bacteriology. When I talk about bacteriology, it is the study of bacteria. So not all bacteria is uh, harmful to plants, humans, and animals. Now some of them are also used as medicinal or as medical. No, use as research, uh, scientific, and microbiology, yung mga paggawaan ng gamot, like sa mga pharmacy, no? So, yun, uh, 
dyan din uh, napapasok yung uh, bacteriology. Okay? So, if you are studying pharmacist, uh, medical technology, no? Uh, may mga friend kayo na ganyan, mga medtech, uh, uh, plan, uh, ano, uh, human pathology, no? they are studying bacteriology. So, yun. So, for now, um, the only thing that I can share to you on bacteria, hindi naman kailangan na deep study tayo sa bacteria. Kasi sa board examination, hindi naman kailangan na deep study. Only those who float on the water. So, that is the only thing that you need to know. Okay, so bacteria. So, we will talk about the characteristics and how this bacteria behaves. No? Uh, how, uh, what can you see in the microscope? No? Uh, all about bacteria. Okay, so generally speaking, no, the general characteristics of bacteria, which is the biggest group of prokaryotic uh, microorganisms that cause plant diseases. You know that that the uh, bacteria is the widest or the numerous or pinakam or numbers among all diseases in plant. No, it 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 it, it is the bacteria pinakamadami. No, not just only in plant, but also in human and animals. We know that a uh, bacteria is under the group of prokaryotic. So actually, we have two two, two groups that characterize uh, diseases. So we have eukaryotics and prokaryotic cell. Okay, but prokaryotic cell it means that it doesn't have nucleus. No, it only has uh, it only has uh, DNA, which is it contains nucleotide and plasmids no and also has a uh, flagellum and uh, it depends on the shapings or characteristics of bacteria ko meron ba siyang transformation ng flagellum okay so yun so when you talk about bacteria it is a group of prokaryotic pag sinabi prokaryotic it doesn't have a uh, it doesn't have a tawag dyan, nucleus okay so as you can see in the picture below there is a Ah, uh, sorry, hindi malinig. Ayan, malinig mo na? Mas maganda ata pag naka-airpads ako. Sandali. Bakit hindi siya magano? Okay. Now, can you hear me? Ayan, naririnig nyo na ba ako? Loud and clear? Kanina natin na ako si Kaya, naririnig nyo ako. Loud and clear. Okay na, J Justin. Can you hear me now? Loud and clear? So, kala malaman kung naririnig mo ako, Justin. Okay na. Okay. Sige. So, let's proceed now. Okay, okay. Ulitin ko ha. That uh, bacteria is the biggest group of uh, diseases in the the earth, no, uh, in the, on the planet Earth, no, it is bacteria that is dominated, no, pinakamarami numbers or numerous diseases in the world, okay, and uh, we know that bacteria is under the group of group of prokaryotic, which means that a prokaryotic, it is, uh, it doesn't have a nucleus. Na anong meron sa prokaryotic? It only has a uh, plasmids and uh, DNA which is contains of nucleotides. Okay? So, there are also uh, some of the, not all bacteria has a flagellum. You know what's flagellum? A flagellum yung parang buntot niya. Okay? Not all bacteria has a flagellum. Some of them doesn't have a flagellum. Okay? So, again, bacteria is under the uh, group of prokaryotic. So actually, there are two groups that we have in the 
characteristics of diseases, we have eukaryotic and prokaryotic. So when we talk about eukaryotic, example is we have this, uh, uh, yung prokaryotic po meron siyang cell wall. No, yung prokaryotic, it has a cell wall. Kung ikumpara natin sa eukaryotic, it only has cell membrane sa eukaryotic. Ang eukaryotic din is meron siyang uh, nucleus. Example ng eukaryotic is yung animal cell. Diba? Pinag-discuss na natin yung, kula, yung shape na bilog. So, may, nagkaroon siya ng uh, nucleus and organelles. No? Yung mga cytoplasms, ganun. Uh, yung mga Golgi bodies. And then, it has only a plasma membrane. No? So, wala siyang cell wall. Kung ikumpara natin sa prokaryotic, ang prokaryotic ay meron siyang cell wall at meron din siyang tinatawag nating uh, plasmids or uh, DNA which is, it contains a nucleotide. Okay? Let's proceed. The, the characteristics, so this is an example of bacteria, as you can see here in this, on the screen. So we have examples, we have a rod shape type, spherical type here, and we have this uh, bacillus cocci, uh, spiral type, spiral type of uh, uh, bacteria. So as you can see there, they have also flagellum, okay? So, number one, the characteristics of bacteria are typically one-celled. So, it has only typically one-celled and possess a unit membrane and a rigid cell wall. So, it has a uh, unit membrane and rigid cell wall. Number two, I reproduce by binary fusion. Always remember that bacteria is reproductive or reproduced by a binary fusion. Iba yung binary fusion, example, pag sa isang ganyan, pag nabuo na siya, pwede siyang mahati at siya maging dalawa. Ayan, tapos maghati naman siya, tapos into dalawa. Parang networking din ang kalabasan. So that is what we call binary fusion. Fusion, okay? So in uh, another characteristics of bacteria, it has a lack of a lack in nuclear membrane and a well-defined nucleus. So ano yung well-defined nucleus niyo? Hindi yung tinatawag natin na nucleotide, okay? Uh, which is contains of the, uh, which is, uh, uh, can be seen in the DNA. So, uh, their nuclear material consists of DNA, which may appear in the cell as circular, ellipsoidal, and dumbbell shape. Yung kanyang uh, uh, style or uh, shape ng isang uh, DNA or uh, nucleo nucleotide. Okay? So, uh, this one is also characteristics of uh, bacteria, which is the gene transfer. How the bacteria transfer the genetic material uh, from its uh, parent to another. So we have number one, which is the transformation. It is the uptake and expression of additional genetic material. So as you can see here, in, in one bacteria, as you can see here, so this is the DNA. So and this one is the plasmid. No, pag dalawa or tatlong plasmid, usually yan dyan. So lalabas yung uh, dalawa. So dapat kasi sa isang bacteria, they, they, meron lang talaga siyang isang plasmid. Okay? So lalabas yan, yung dalawa, so maiwan na lang isa. So yung dalawa ngayon ay magta-transform ng sarili niyang uh, type of bacteria. No? Magta-transform siya, tapos magkakaroon siya ng sarili niyang DNA. Okay? So that is a transformation. Next is we have this transduction. So transduction is an indirect type of bacterial transfer or bacteria, uh, genet bacterial genetic transfer. So ano, bakit siya indirect? Because... Uh, transduction is uh, it is a need of a uh, vector no example from bacteria no from bacteria to uh, vector to virus parang ganun so so that is a transduction no ang tawag din yan ay bacteriophage no bacteriophage it is an indirect type of uh, uh, transferring of genetic material or bacterial genetic material no so indirect siya so the uh, it is uh, bacteria to uh, virus, ganon, or virus to bacteria, no? as long as it has a vector, yun, vector, dapat may vector siya, no? to transduct a uh, genetic material. And conjugation naman, uh, conjugation, it is a donor cell to a recipient, no? a recipient, okay? So, this is an example of conjugation, okay? So, as you can see, pag sabi mo conjugation, it is a direct type of genetic transfer. So as long as there is already a formation of a uh, bacteria, so some of the bacteria are already formation, but it's in complete formation uh, of, uh, no, uh, incomplete transformation of a bacteria. So it only has a DNA. So yung mga bacteria na empty ang plasmids, 
no if may mga bacteria na they have two or three plasmids no they will transfer the other one plasmids to another uh, bacteria that is incomplete or without plasmids so ang tawag po dyan ay conjugation or directly yun directly genetic transfer or bacterial genetic transfer okay and we have this what we call transfection uh transfection it is via the electrical shock no uh pag uh, have you observed that uh, sometimes if we are uh, pag na korentihan tayo or pag naano tayo sa koryente nawaka natin yung koryente nagkakaroon ng shocking ang ating nucleus no that also affected our uh uh the bacteria or diseases because of the electrical shocks no that uh transfer the genetic material from the other bacteria or bacteria page or bacteria okay so these are the transformation but usually commonly uh commonly we have this transformation transduction and conjugation which is the gene transfer of bacteria okay so we have also these plasmids or it called the extracellular close and circular genetic components so the plasmids here so you can see this is an example of bacteria okay a prokaryotic prokaryotes bacteria so this is the dna no which is uh, consists of nucleotide and we have the plasmid dna and we have this cytoplasm yung kulay blue that is a cytoplasm so surrounded by it is surrounded by this uh pro, uh, uh, pro, uh surrounded by this bacteria is uh yung internal type ang tawag doon ay plasmid dna or uh, plasma membrane sorry plasma plasmid dna so you have the plasma membrane and then followed by the outer part membrane which is the cell wall okay so and this is the flagellum or known as the locomotion or the motor locomotion for the bacteria the para makaswim sila para siyang naging paa para makaswim or buntot para makaswim sila so yun so plasmids is this extracellular self-replicating unit so extracellular self-replicating ibig sabihin kaya niyang bumuo ng mag-isa or kaya niyang mag-replicate o mag-clone ng sarili ng ng mag-isa okay it can be integrated into bacterial chromosomes and replicated with it okay it can be integrated into the bacterial chromosome and replicated with it okay so next is we have the how you are going to determine uh, the, uh how to determine the bacteria no in the microscope no so you can use uh we have also determinants in the bacteria we have the drug resistance no use as drug resistance page resistance uv resistance okay survival and secondary habitats and pathogenesis or pinagmulan ng uh, possible also ng pinagmulan ng mga diseases Okay, so this is uh, the shapes of bacteria that you need to know. We have the spherical, which is known as the cocci. So this is example of cocci here. So we have uh, what we call this combined cocci. We have uh, double cocci, so triple. We have also single so cocci on there. So we have single cocci, and this is what we call the polycocci. And this one is also we have the rod shape, or also known as bacilli. Okay, rod shape, or para siyang tusino. So that is a uh bacilli okay and we have the spiral shape or the spirilla okay spiral shape or spirilla this one parang hot dog kumbaga so that is a shape of uh, this one here so that is a shape of the bacteria so there are three types of shapes of bacteria we have spherical or known as cocci rod shape or the bacilli or parang tusino and we have the spiral shape or tinatawag parang hot dog siya no spirilla Okay, so they may occur single cells and in couples, in chains, or in clusters. So, pwedeng mag-isa lang sila, pwedeng madami. Example ito, mag-isa lang siya, no? single cells. Meron din ito, tinatawag natin chain or uh, or in clusters. Uh, meron din couples here. This is also couples type of shapes of bacteria. So, they possess a uh, flagella or organ of locomotion. So, uh, some of the bacteria is possessing a flagella what is flagella again yung buntot uh, used as locomotion to for the bacteria to move okay so there are also types of flagella attachment on it so may mga ano kasi mayroon tayong makita madaming buntot isa lang ang buntot uh, uh, nakapaligid ang buntot so may mga tawag yan may mga pangalan yan sila so we have also we have number one which is the monotrichus okay so the monotrichus is a single flagellum is attached at one end meaning Pag attach siya in one end, this type of flagellum, uh, this type of bacteria is, example, this is the bacteria here, so magkaroon lang siya ng isang buntot. 
So that is isa lang. So a single flagellum is attached at one end. So isang uh, panghuli or isang end. So merong isang uh, uh, ano, isang buntot. So ang tawag po dyan ay mono. From the word itself, mono meaning mag-isa. Okay? And we have here ampitrichus or ampitrichus, one or more flagella at each end. Okay? Ano ibig sabihin yan? One or more flagella at each end. So if this is the the bacteria, no, one or more flagella at each end. So, bawat dulo ay merong isa, okay, or dalawang flagella. Ayan. So, this is an example of ampitrichus, okay? And we have also the lopotrichus or lopo, ampi, pag uh, each one or uh, each end has a one or more flagella. And we have this lopotrichus or two or more flagella are located at one end, Okay? of the bacterial cell. Ano ibig sabihin niyan? Mag-isa-isang end lang, two or more flagella. Ibig sabihin marami sa isang dulo. So example here, this is an example of bacteria. Ibig sabihin, madami, two or more sa isang end lang. So this is a lopotrichus type of bacteria. Okay? And we have the peritrichus or peri, from the word is peri, meaning a flagella are scattered all over around the cell surface. Ibig sabihin, if this is the bacteria here, it's scattered yung mga flagella Yan, buhok, maraming buhok, ang buhok, buhok, yan. So, scattered siya. So, that's an example of a uh, peritrichus bacteria. Okay? And we have a trichus. A trichus is a no flagella. Pag sabi no flagella, it is a um, empty. So, example here. So, this is well, this one. So, this is an example of a um, atrichus or atrichus um, of atrichus no? type of bacteria. It has, it doesn't have flagella. Okay, so he, here is the best example for that. So this is the atrichus. As you can see, it doesn't have a uh, flagella. And mono, it has only one. As you can see, it has only one flagella at one end. Diba? Sa dulo. And we have lopo trichus, which is madame. Uh, two or more flagella at one end. And we have ampitrichus, which is uh, at, at each end. No, At each end of the of the bacteria, it has a flagellum, okay? And we have the peritrichus, which is, it is a scattered flagella that we have in the uh, bacterial cell, okay? So this is the arrangement of the flagella in bacteria, okay? Sir, lumalabas po ba yung ganitong exam? Yes, absolutely yes. Lumalabas yung mga ganitong exam because this is a basic on the plant pathology. Okay, so what are the characteristics of plant pathogenic bacteria? So, di ba sinabi ko na sa inyo kanina that they are also a rod shape, and spherical shape, yun. So, most plant pathogenic bacteria are rod shape. So, hindi lahat ng bacteria are rod shape. Most of them are rod shape. Okay? So, except uh, Coriniferus, uh, Coriniforms, uh, Clavibacter, yan, Rhodococcus, Cortobacterium, Artobacter, Ratayebacter. So, they are not rod shape. Okay? So we have stromyces, stromyces, nocardia, filamentous, they are uh, nocardia, yeah. stromyces, filamentous, and nocardia, they are a uh, rod shape of bacteria, okay? And number two, we have the moss half cells, okay? Uh, moss half cell walls, okay? Peptidoglycan ang tawag sa cell wall ng prokaryotic or uh, bacteria. Uh, cell wall ng bacteria, ang tawag, sa, ang tawag doon ay peptidoglycan. Okay, so please uh, take note on this because tomorrow you'll be having a quiz, a long quiz on this uh, by tomorrow. So uh, it will be combination of bacteriology and mycology before we proceed to uh, nematology and virology. Okay, so yun, most have cells or most have cell walls. So, ang tawag sa cell walls ng bacteria ay peptidoglycan. Okay? Layer. So, it has, it's like, it is like a slime layer. Have you seen a slime? And then, it is a capsule-like. Okay? So, except spiroplasma, because spiroplasma, it doesn't have cell walls. Okay? It is a type of bacteria that doesn't have cell walls. And uh, we have also bacteria that is mutile and uh, mutile and immutile. Pag sinabi mo mutile, it has, or it has the ability to stay or to live for longer time. Pag mutile din, ibig sabihin um, mabilis yung pagdami niya. Pag non-mutile, it means that um, hindi siya, mabagal or slowly or 
kasi hindi na din talaga siya gumagalaw. So example ng mosk uh, uh, ang non-mutile so uh, lahat naman ng ano ng bacteria ay mutile. No kaya mabilis dumami. No example uh, except for Erwinia stewarti. Okay? So Erwinia stewarti is an example of bacteria of a corn stunt. Okay? Example yan ng uh, bacteria ng corn or causal agent ng corn stunt. Okay? So, ano ang ginagawa ni corn stunt stewarty? No, or when stewarty, bakit siya non-mutal type of bacteria? Because it's preventing, the, eh, parang pinaprevent niya yung sa loob, di ba? Sa loob ng uh, stock ng uh, corn, meron tayong phloem bundles and xylem bundles, di ba? So, ang trabaho ni Arwenia Stewart is to prevent or to block the way of phloem to provide food for the plants. So, yun ang trabaho ni Arwenia Stewart. Kaya nga, non-mutile siya. Okay? And we have number four, which is the most are gram-negative. So, some of the bacteria are gram-negative. So, later on, as we are going, as we go on in our slides, we discuss din natin yung gram-negative and gram-positive because that's very important. It's for you to know also what is the difference between the gram-negative and the uh, gram-positive and what also uh, the uh, content of gram negative. Okay? Sa so pagsabi mong most gram negative, most are gram negative. So, most bacteria are gram negative. Except for uh, cyanoforms, uh, streptomyces, nocardia, spir uh, spiroplasma, they are gram positive. Okay? So, yung coriniforms, it is a gram vari variable kasi it depends kasi yan. Eh, twice, uh, pwede siyang maging gram negative, pwede siyang maging gram positive yung coriniforms, which is still under the phylum of bacteria. Okay, so we have stromyces, esnocardia, and spiroplasma, which is a gram-positive. So later on, I will be discussing more about gram-negative and gram-positive. Okay, so let's proceed to non-spore former. Ano yung non-spore former? So kahit walang sperm, they can still form, no? Example, we have the bas except for bacillus and clostridium. Because bacillus, uh, let's say bacillus, lactus bacillus, na yung sa, sa milk, yun, then clostridium is also for milk. No, so they are spore former. No, yung bacillus. Kaya nga nagkakaroon ng after bacteria, there's a tendency na magkaroon ng fungi effect. Okay, and number six, we have uh, sa, mostly of the bacteria are aerobic. Pag sinabi mong aerobic, meaning those bacteria are needed an oxygen. Okay, and not all bacteria is needed oxygen. Except for uh, Erwinia, which is facultative anaerobic. Pag sinabi mong facultative er anaerobic, eh, it has both no characteristics. It has anaerobic and aerobic. It needs oxygen and pwede din hindi niya kailangan ng oxygen. And we have this uh, clostridium, which is a non-oxygenated type of bacteria. Okay? So this is the bacterial taxonomy as a traditional method to how you are going to identify taxonomy, uh, taxonomical bacteria so we have here the morphological so to see the characteristics or physical characteristics of bacteria by also cultural biochemical uh, physiological uh, pathological characteristics also no to identify the taxonomy of the bacteria so what are its advantage of this there is no phylogenetic relationship established on this bakit siya no phylogenetic relationship and ibig sabihin ng phylogenetic relationship Di ba sabi ko sa inyo that the bacteria is a prokaryote, right? Pag sabi ng prokaryote, it doesn't have a, uh, tawag dyan, it doesn't have a nucleus, okay? Pag sinabi natin no phylogenetic bacteria, no, um, it has, um, tawag dyan, uh, term yan? it has, ayan eh, ano ba yung term na? Nakalimutan ko na. Um, Meron siyang relevant, yun, uh, related doon sa pagiging isang prokaryotic. Okay? So, ano nga ba ibig sabihin ng uh, no phylogenetic relationship? No? Pag sinabing no phylogenetic relationship, it means that mali. Okay, pag sinabi natin phylogen no, uh, phylogenetic relationship, it is the study of the relationship among organisms of a uh, species 
or a population through of uh, evolution. So these relationships are identified using the using the similarities in DNA, RNA, or protein sequences, or a comparison of the anatomical features. So that is phylogenetic relationship. So nagkakaroon siya ng relationship. Uh, wala siyang, kung ang bacteria, it doesn't have a relationship among organisms of a species or a population no, through evolution. So that is the uh, phylogenetic. So wala siyang relationship yung bacteria no, to other organisms. Okay, so we have bacterial taxonomy. We have the numerical taxonomy based on overall similarity of a wide range of phenotypic chas. So, sabihin, pinakamadami or dominated yung bacteria among other diseases. And fed into a computer program, positive and negative gram, uh, similarity and matching indices are calculated. Determination of the level of similarity needed for designation of species or genus often depends on the investigator. So it depends on how this scientific study no, for the uh, bacterial taxonomy. Okay? So hindi naman natin kailangan talaga na i-discuss yan masyado. No? Kasi um, mahirap na kung isa-isahin pa natin. So let's proceed to molecular taxonomy. So molecular taxonomy based on the DNA parameters. No? It is based on the DNA parameters. So relatedness of DNA from various bacterial strains. So we have the DNA-based composition expressed in percentage. We have guanine and the cytosine. At all, always remember that uh, bacteria, the DNA of bacteria is composed of guanine and or guanine or guanine and cystosine. Wag kalimutan yan kasi lumalabas sa exam yan. So it is a DNA or bacterial DNA that is. Uh, Di ba sabi ko sa inyo yung bacteria is a pro prokaryotic and prokaryotic has a dna which is consists of nucleotide so also ang dna is contains of guanine and cystosine okay so we have also dna uh, dna to dna homology and complementarity of uh, sequences of the bases we have atg and c and and then between dna molecules of different isolates here. So, magdanat na na yun. Hindi naman siya lumalabas sa exam niya, homology niya. So, oh, na to. so this one, we have the RFLP or the Restriction Fragment Length Polymorphism. Okay? So, it is used in strain identification. Saan siya ginagamit? It is used for strain identification. So, saan ba natin nakikita sa strain? Sa DNA yun nakikita. So DNA uh, treated with restriction enzymes that fragment and that, that fragment the DNA. So the fragments are hybrid, hybridized with labeled DNA probes. Kaya nga minsan, di ba, um, pag tinatanong na uh, sa mga movie, have you observed na pag sinabi nag, nagpapakuha ng DNA results, uh, tapos ang sagot ng mga doctor sometimes is, you have both positive strain. Uh, ibig sabihin, yung kanilang both DNA are the same. So, pag negative ang sagot, uh, negative strain din yun. Ibig sabihin, wala, uh, hindi sila magkaparehas ng strain na DNA. Ibig sabihin, hindi niya yun anak. Ganon. And we have restriction uh, enzymes, a group of enzymes from bacteria which break internal uh, bands of DNA at highly specific points. So a group of enzymes, so there are a group of enzymes in the restriction, no? uh, a group of enzymes that restrict uh, from bacteria which break, uh, enzymes from bacteria which break internal bands of DNA at highly specific points. Diba, yung DNA, it is banded. Diba, it is banded, na, as you can see, banded yung DNA. So it there's an enzymes to break the internal bands of the DNA. Okay, and we have also the RNA analysis, yan, polypeptide uh, peptide analysis and fatty acid composition. Bakit nagkakaroon ng polypeptide and fatty acid composition? Because the bacteria is a prokaryote. So prokaryote means that it has a cell wall, which is the outer membrane of the uh, cell, which is also known as, uh, which is also contained of uh, lepo, uh, lepo polypeptide or and the uh, okay. 
sorry, lipopolysaccharides and uh, protein. Yon. It has it it is contains or it contains of a uh, poly poly uh, lipopolysaccharides and uh, protein. Yung cell membrane, okay, or uh, sorry, cell cell wall or outer membrane of the prokaryote cell, okay. So it is also used of isosomes. So isosomes enzymes with the same function may but may be chemically different patterns as differential markers for grouping of bacterial strains. So that is isozyme. And we have comparison of the cellular and enzyme protein profiles of various isolates. Okay? And we have bacteriophage, as what I have said earlier. Now, bacteriophages is an indirect type of uh, gene transfer of bacteria. So which lies specific bacteria because it needed... It is a needed of, of vectors in order to proceed it or to transfer it to another bacteria or virus. Yun, pwede din yun. And we have serological techniques no, para malaman natin if what is the relationships among the among each bacteria. Yung like kinukuhaan tayo ng dugo to check our DNA, to check our blood type. So that is serological techniques. Okay? So these are the uh, list of genera of plant pathogenic bacteria. So, sir, kailangan ba namin i-memorize yan? To tell you honestly, you don't need to memorize of each of this. Okay? Ang ginawa lang namin is, noong time ko, I familiarize everything. Kasi may mga part dito na malalaman mo na agad directly na bacteria siya. Example, eto, acetobacter. So, bacteria siya kasi may bacteria ang word. Okay? So, eto, bacterium. So, hindi mo na siya kailangan alamin na bacteria yan. Bacteria yan. Bacillus is automatically a bacteria yan. So we have here Clavibacter, yan, alam ko na yan. Clostridium, alam ko na agad yun na bacteria yan. Bacterium, yan, alam ko na agad na bacteria yan. Genera ng bacteria yan. Bacterium, eto, Entrobacter, yan. Malalaman ko na agad na bacteria yan. So eto din, bacteria din to. So Domonas, alam ko na to na bacteria talaga to. Rastonia, alam ko na din yan na bacteria yan. And then Bacter, yan, Rhizobacter. And we have yan, yan Runococcus, yan. Sometimes meron din yung mga term na ganito, like Runococcus or cocci, at yung rhodococcus, these types of bacteria is like a cocci shape. Ganon. Doon din minsan yan nakukuha yung kanyang scientific name. And then, uh, ito, Santomonas, alam ko na na bacteria yan. So, ano na lang yung kailangan nyo i-familiarize? So, ito na yung feminist nyo, acidovorax, yan, uh, brenaria, burkholderia, yan, erwenia, erwenia, alam ko naman na bacteria na yun. But, pag baka sa iba hindi alam, no, cardia, pantonia, Pa, pantone, pan, pantoy, ah. pantoya, we have the sponge monas, seracias, pero spiroplasma, streptomyces, silella, silopelus, yan. So, they are uh, the things that you need to familiarize. Kasi pagdating sa board exam, pag nandun yun sa mga choices, tapos ang tanong fungi, alam mo na agad na yun ang i-eliminate mo. Yan yung mga i-eliminate mo. Kasi nga, ay, bacteria to. Kasi hindi naman, ang tanong naman is fungi. So, bacteria ito. So, eliminate mo yun. At least, alam mo na na yan ay bacteria. Saan usually ginagamit yung mga genera? They use it in the scientific name of the uh, causal agent of the plant disease. Siya, nagiging genus siya. Okay? Yan, Rastonia. Nakakol niya yung sa talong. Kalimutan pa na. Uh, meron yan siya. Yung ginagamit siya sa genus. So, yan. So, yan lang kailangan nyo i-familiarize. Si Sir, ang dami-dami talaga mga scientific name ng causal agent. Yes, correct po yun. Ang dami talaga ang scientific name. But sa board examination naman, hindi naman kayo palilituhin ng, ano, ng board examiner. Ang gagawin lang na list ng examiner is gagawa siya ng multiple choices, which is not, uh, let's say, two of the choices are bacteria and then you need to find it. And some of them are not bacteria anymore. So that is what are you going to do. Okay? So these are the diseases. Okay, so actually, noong 2000 pa ito, and I have this updated one ng IPM. Ah, oh, sige, bigay ko na lang sa inyo. Ah, na naibigay ko na sa inyo yung IPM, Integrated Pest Management na, ano, ay, ano ko na lang, ilagay ko na lang sa G-Drive para mas madali. Okay, para doon pwede nyo ma-access anytime. Okay, so yun ay uh, latest na causal agent ng mga bacteria, uh, ng mga diseases, or ng mga diseases. So, ayan. So, we have Acetobacter, Acetai. It is a causal agent of pink diseases of pineapple. 
Yon, Acid of Orox, Avene. Uh, so, ang ano na lang dyan, i-familiarize mo lang, Avene. Uh, Avene lang. Yon. So, sub, sub, subspecies. And we have si Adovorax, Avene, subspecies, Cattleya. O, oh, yan, Cattleya. Agad, agad na yan. Alam mo yan, it's a brown rat of Cattleya. Yon. So, Agrobacterium, Tommy Fashions. Yon. Ground, crown gall of Roses. Ayan. So, uh, Bark Holderia. So, ayan. Pero, sir, lumalabas ba yan? Nung time namin lumabas, dalawa lang ang lumabas dito. Pero hindi siya mahirap. No, hindi siya mahirap. Kasi nga, as long as you familiarize na there is a bacteria, so malalaman mo na agad yung sagot. Okay, so this one, also bulb rot of onions, the causal agent of bulb, bulb rot onions is the bark called Diria Hepasia. Yan. Meron dalawa. And we have bulb rot of gladiolos, yung kanyang causal agent, bark called Diria gladioli. And we have sidrat of rice, yan, bark holderia glumay, bacterial spot of carnation, bark, uh, bark holderia woodski, and ratoon stunting disease of sugarcane, yan, clavicular subspecies, and stock rat of corn. Yan. So these are the causal agent for the uh, these specific crops. Okay, so we have also black leg of tobacco, Hindi naman talaga to siya lumalabas, this one. Crown rot, hindi ito. So, this one, gloco, glocono bacterial oxidants. Ito, potato black leg, huwag kalimutan. And then bacterial wilt of corn. Ayan. Yan lang. And we have soft rot of beige. Ito lumalabas lagi. Soft rot of vegetables. Ayan. Uh, the blight of soybeans. Lumalabas itong blight of soybeans. Ano blight? Hindi yan eh. Stock rot of corn. Depende din sa ano, bacterial disease. Ayan. And we have... Lalaman tayong mulberry dito sa Pilipinas. Yeah, mayroon ba tayong mulberry? Ah, mayroon pala mulberry. And we have blast or black pit of citrus. Usually kasi lumalabas sa citrus is... Ano lang eh. Ah... Uh, Gal. Ano pa ba yun? Iba. Uh, necrosis. Yun. So we have tobacco, water disease of la or lips, uh, lip spot of tobacco, bacterial wilt of stick. We have potato scab. This one. But sweet potato scab also. Yeah. And we have the red stripe or uh, red stripe of sugar cane. So hindi naman. Ito, canker. Ito, lumabas ito sa exam. Santo Monas Asunopodis. The canker. Yan. Bacterial blight of antor. Ito, alam ba sa itong antorium? Bacterial blight of antorium. And cassava leaf blight. Santo Monas asunopi, as, asunopodis. Yan. Leaf spot of mang bean. Ito din. Mga choices lang to sila doon ha. But you need to choose at least one. Kung saan doon tanong doon. Yan. Ito, black rat of soca crociferous. Lip spot of ma mango. Ito, lamas talaga ito, Santo Monas Campus Tres. No? And then we have... Ito, bacteria leaf blight of rice. Ito, lamas talaga. Santo Monas Orize. Yan. Yan, bacteria leaf streak of rice. Gomnosis of sugar cane. You know what's gomnosis? Diba, uh, sa isang ano, sa isang ganyan, oh, sa isang stem, Mas pag nasugatan siya, may lumalabas na parang rubber na kulay brown. Yung parang like gummy, ang style niya, parang gummy, pero mabaho siya. Gomnosis po ang tawag dun. Gomnosis. Okay? Marami yan, tulad ng santol, puno ng santol, yon Di ba pag nanon mo, magkasugat, tapos pag natagalan doon, may lumalabas siya na parang rubber type na kulay brown. Gomnosis po tawag doon. And then lipstick of sorghum and then lip spot of pepper. Okay, so let's discuss about the comparative characteristics of gram positive and negative bacteria. So ganito na lang. So I don't want to make it more, uh, no, I don't want to make it, mahirapan pa kayo. Okay, so to, to, to give you an, ano, to give you a uh, summarization on this, gram positive is always in the stained dark violet or Purple, yan. Violet dye 
and stain dark violet or purple. That is the gram positive. While the gram negative, it is used by stain red. Okay? Stray stain red. So, how will you know if the gram positive different to gram negative? If the pet to the glycan or the cell wall of this each grams is pag sa mold positive is thick and sa thin, thin is single layer. Actually, yung gram positive meron siyang dalawang periplasmic space. Okay? Pero sabi dito it's absent. Pero the true, meron na ako dito sample na eh. Okay. This one. Okay. So this is the gram positive. So we have the gram positive. Sorry. It's so this is the gram positive. Okay, so the gram positive has a plus periplasmic space also. So it doesn't have a cell wall. Yun ang pinagkaiba sa kanya. Wala siyang outer, outer cell wall. Yun. Wala siyang outer cell wall. Unlike sa gram negative, it has an outer membrane or the outer cell wall or the lepo, polysaccharide, and protein. So, yun ang pinagkaiba. Okay? So, the first layer was plasma membrane. And then, the second layer is the periplasmic space. And then, the last layer is the peptidoglycan. Okay? So, that is a gram positive. Ang gram negative naman, the first layer is the plasma membrane. And then, followed by the periplasmic space. And then, followed by peptidoglycan. Okay? And then, followed na naman ulit ang periplasmic space. So, dalawa ang periplasmic space ng uh, gram negative no presence yung present yung dalawang uh, periplasmic space tapos ang pinakahuli is yung outer membrane which is makapal na part na it is consists of uh, lipopolysaccharides and protein so yun ang pinagkaiba ng gram positive and gram negative okay yung gram negative it is high in uh, drying uh, it is high dry resistance in drying no, it is high resistance in uh, drying. While the gram positive, it is low resistance in drying. Ibig sabihin, sensitive siya sa mainit. Okay? Kasi nga, hindi siya makapal. Kung unlike sa gram negative, it is resistance in drying because makapal yung kanyang. Dahil lang ha. Thank you. 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 Ayun. So, did you get now the point? Ano yung pinagkaiba ng gram positive and gram negative? Have you, ano, have you, um, uh, ano talagang dyan, oh? Uh, nakalimutan ko na sa English. Ah, Tagalog na lang. Uh, napagdaanan nyo ba yung mga ganitong tanong sa, ano, sa paglag to Q&A kayo, yung gram positive tsaka gram negative, ano yung mga ganyan choices? Napagdaanan nyo ba yan? Raise your hand kung napagdaanan niyo yung mga ganyang tanong sa crop protection under plant pathology. Hindi pa ba? O, oh, ayan. Kung hindi pa, ibig sabihin, o, oh, ayan, si Noriza daw ay napagdaanan niya yung ganyang tanong. So, ibig sabihin, pag may mga tanong na ganyan sa board exam, no, automatically, actually, ang tanong, ang sagot dyan for bacteria or bacteriology is gram-negative. Kasi halos lahat naman kasi ng bacteria are gram-negative. Uh, kukunti lang talaga yung gram-positive. Okay, so that is uh, the difference between the gram positive and gram negative. Ito yung talaga yung huling tanong doon sa final coaching namin last year. Ito yung pinakahuling tanong ng aking estudyante. Ano daw yung gram positive tsaka ano yung gram negative? Akala ko kasi alam na nila nun. Kaya kahit nag-define lang ako. So sabi ko sa kanila, may, may pinagkaiba ang gram positive tsaka gram negative. Meron kasi tayo mga bacteria na insensitive sa drying and sensitive din sa drying. No, may mga ganyang klaseng bacteria. Kaya nga, um, kaya nga tayo, di ba? Actually, our body, our skin is composed also of bacteria. That's why we are alive tonight. Hi, Carl. You are, ano, oh, you are, ano talaga, dark. You are in dark. 
Ayan, so, hi Carl Gumban. Ayan, so, did you get it? If you get it, you can thumbs up or you can raise your hand if uh, naintindihan ninyo. Did you understand class? Very good. Now you understand. Hopefully tomorrow you will have your quiz, ha? Huh? Baka ano, hello din. Baka hindi nyo, ano, baka hindi nyo masagot. Yan. So, hi Carl. Anong ha sa'yo? Ayan. So now let's proceed to the types of culture media that used in identification or determining the bacteria. So we know naman that not all bacteria is needing for oxygen and we have two types of, ano, we have uh, three types pala, aerobic, uh, anaerobic, uh, facultative, uh, anaerobic, okay? So pag sinabi mong um, culture media, yun, ito yung nasa laboratory, na ginagawa to determine or to identify the bacteria. And we have the type which is chemically defined. What is the purpose? No? Growth of chemoautotrophs. Pag sinabi mo chemoautotrophs, it is, okay, pag sinabi mong chemoautotrophs, it is yung kanilang food, no? yung, saan sila, uh, yung, yung kanilang uh, production ng food is by the use of chemicals. Yan. By the use of chemicals and also and we have this photoautotrophs okay photoautotrophs is by use of uh, light yun from the word itself photoautotrophs yung kanilang food production is by lights and we have also a uh, heterotroph yun yung chemo heterotropic yun pag chemo chemical agad yan heterotropic organic matter okay Yan. So, and you have also growth of uh, complex, yeah, growth of most chemo-heterotropic organisms. So, ibig sabihin, yung bacteria, they can live or they can um, uh, they can provide their own food by the, by uh, chemo-heterotropic. Okay? But also, reducing growth of obligate anaerobes, yun. Selective suppression of unwanted microbes, encouraging desired microbes. Differential niya, differentiation of colonies of desired microbes from others. And then enrichment, similar to selective media, but designed to increase numbers of desired microbes to detectable levels. Uh, enrichment, ibig sabihin, magseselect lang sila ng uh, one uh, sample of bacteria and then dun, malalaman na nila if di madidetect nila detect madidetect nila what level of bacteria yung ibang bacteria yun on so ano yung mga shapings characteristics ng ibang bacteria so that's how they are going to identify or determine in the culture media so those are types of culture media okay so usually ang ginagamit naman is lang gumagamit ng co complex ah meron 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 pala meron sorry nung si Venice gumamit ng ano complex type of ano and we have these major types of bacterial diseases. Ito yung pinaka-highlight talaga sa discussion natin ngayon. Kasi lumalabas talaga to. We have necrotic diseases, usually narrow. Pag sinabi mong narrow, ibig sabihin mapit yung daan. Okay? Ibig sabihin, saan siya usually makikita? Sa narrow part ng isang plants. So pag necrotic leaf, uh, meron siya. Pag necrotic disease, nagkakaroon ng necrotic leaf spots. Nagkakaroon ng stem, stem canker, nagkakaroon ng blossom, nagkakaroon ng blight. So, yan ang symptoms ng necrotic disease. And nagkakaroon ng uh, delayed cell death or necrosis. And also, uh, magkakaroon ng major virulence factors, which is nagkakaroon ng toxicity production sa plants. And then, yung incom incompatible response niya is clear, hypersensitive, and uh, clear, hypersensitive response. Ibig sabihin, madali siyang dumami. Mabilis yung, uh, it's mutile type of uh, bacterial disease, ang necrotic disease. Pag sinabi mo namang vascular, ibig sabihin often wide. So, sa vascular yan, example, if this is the stem, so we have naman vascular bundle, right? Which is contain, contains the uh, parenchyma cells, clarenchyma cells, the uh, vascular ba uh, vascular bodies which contain phylum, uh, phloem, sorry, phloem bundles, phloem way, tapos uh, the xylem bundles, yun. So the vascular diseases, ang kanyang effect, ang kanyang target is the vascular bundles. So often wide, it is, uh, the symptoms is vascular wilts, no? Uh, pwedeng maglanta, no, magkalanta. Example kasi nito is yung sa corn. 
Uh, that is an example of vascular wilts, no? It has the compatible response niya, long distance wilting. Okay? So, mahabang, ano, uh, pwede ikamatay talaga kasi from from the bottom to top, no, ipapatay niya. And then, extracellular polysaccharides production in silent. Nagkakaroon ng abnormalities sa sugar level. So, nagkakaroon ng extracellular polysaccharides production in silent. So, pag nagkakaroon ng extracellular, paglabas ng polysaccharides production ng silent, kaya nagka nagkakaroon ng, ano, sa yung akala natin na matay yung core ng dahil sa mga ants hindi po yon nang dahil sa extracellular polysaccharides yon kasi naglalabas ng parang exist sugar level yung corn so that's why nagkakaroon ng mga an uh, sulum termites yung mga ants kaya ganun and then we have clear hr no a clear hypersensitive response and number three, we have soft rot disease okay a soft rot disease diseases often white usually uh not just in the uh, this one is can be found soft rot uh sa ano sa leaves no sa leaves or soft rots um symptoms niya soft rots and then tissues maceration ang kanyang compatible response ibig sabihin yung kanyang target is yung leaf blade or the leaf no the leaf so that is the tissues targets niya so maceration and the cell wall uh degradation okay and then Ano ibig sabihin ng cell wall degradation, yung major virus factors niya? Ibig sabihin, uh, tinatanggalan niya ng ano, uh, cell wall de 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 degradation para yung ibang diseases makapasok. Kung baga siya yung parang nagakit-kit, naga, ano ba, nagaukay, gano'n. So parang yun. Parang ano siya, bulldozer na ginagano'n niya yun, yung cell wall para mamatay yung ano, para mawala yung cell wall. Yeah, pang the word self-degradation, nawawala. And then HR at high doses. Pag high doses ng... Um, uh, ano, uh, chemical response so nagkakaroon ng hypersensitivity sir, sa response ng uh, diseases. Okay? So, number four, we have two more diseases. Yun. Often wide. So, example, we have the galls or known the hypertrophy. So, magkaiba po yung hyperplasia at saka hypertrophy. So, yung hypertrophy po nagkakaroon ng swelling. Okay? Nagkakaroon siya ng swelling or doon mismo sa kanyang vascular or anong term ba nito? Uh, basta doon sa kanyang vascular nagkakaroon siya ng uh, swelling. Unlike sa hyperplasia, sa cell division talaga siya nagkakaroon ng swelling and uh, irregular. No? Irregular formation of cell division. So nagkakaroon ng uncontrolled cell division. Pag uncontrolled cell division, that is hyperplasia cell division that is hyperplasia. Okay? So nagkakaroon ng hormone disturbance. Ito, yan. That is example of ano, hypertrophy. Kasi nagkakaroon ng swelling on the vascular bundles. So pag nagkakaroon ng swelling, di ba, have you seen like, ah, yes, tawag doon, muscle tissues. Yan, tawag. Sa so, di ba sa isang stem, meron tayong tinatawag na muscle tissues sa vascular bundles. Di ba, have you seen like mga plants na magkaroon ng nagsuswell or parang, like, ano ba, yung parang lumalaki, eh, nagka, hindi, nag, hindi nagkakapantay yung kanilang stem shapes. So, nagkakalakay. That's totally ko hypertrophy. Nagkakaroon ng, ano, nagkakaroon ng galls or hypertrophy which is nagkakaroon ng swelling ng vascular bundles or muscle tissues. So, nagkakaroon ng hormone disturbance or changes of hormones. Yun. And then, so, pag nandoon, nangyari yun, so, nagkakaroon na din ng disturbances dun sa cell division. So, nagkakaroon na ng hyperplasia. Okay, so the hypersensitivity response is not normally elicited on this. So, kasi nakikita naman siya talaga through naked eye. So, we have host tissues response, which relates to various factors, host range, symptoms, and induction of incompatibility response. Okay, I'll give you some example of hyper, hi, hi, hypertrophy. Yeah. Basta ba, have you, ano, um, Encounter this. Ano naka-encounter na nito? Tapos ang kamay. Raise your hand if you experience like this. Uh, no, hindi. Yung sa, yung sa ano pa itawag dyan, no? Sa, ano ba yung tawag? <laughs> sa mga questions, sa mga Q&A, naka-observe ba kayo ng ganito? Hypertrophy. Uh, 
ulit. Hyperplasia. There are also example of hyper, yan, meron naman dito hypertrophy, uh, sa leaves. No, mas marami talaga siya sa leaves kung kumpara natin sa stem. Okay, so, may example, sama sa may dito. Sige, ito na lang ako. Oh. Are you familiar with tuba-tuba? Ano ba yung tuba-tuba? Ano ba yung sa inyo ang tuba-tuba? Hindi ko alam. Ano ibig sabihin ng tuba-tuba sa inyo? Dali, hanapin natin yung ginamit natin na ano. Para meron kayong sample, hyperplasia. Para makita ninyo, hyperplasia. Meron siya sa stem, meron din siya sa, ano, sa... The leaves. Okay. Ah, uh, this one. Lagi ahanap ka ng hyperplasia dito. This one is also a back example of hyperplasia. Anap din tayo sa leaves. Hmm. Usually, merong hyperplasia sa ano? Lansones, santol, Um, makopa, rambutan, yan, maraming hyperplasia dyan. Ano pa ba? Citrus, mga citrus din meron. Okay, so we have examples here of this one. So this one is an example of hypertrophy. Okay, so nagkakaroon ng swelling. Yan. Sorry, hypertrophy. So hypertrophy, ito yung mga hypertrophy sa, sa, sa muscular tissue or the vascular bundles. So, nagkakaroon siya ng disturbances doon. So, this is a hypertrophy. So, this one is what we call hyperplasia. Okay? Sa cell division yan. Sa cell division din. Nagkakaroon ng disturbances sa cell division. So, that is the hyperplasia. This one is an example of gall. Ito po ay example ng gall. Sa leaves yan. Yan ang example ng gal. Meron yan marami sa santol, sa mangga, sa makopa, sa lansones, meron yan. Sa rambutan, meron din yan. Yan, so nagkakaroon din ng gal. Yan, sa citrus talaga, madaming ganyan. Okay, so, this is an example of gal hyperplasia. Okay, so yan. Sa leaves yan siya. Okay, na alam nyo na? Para at least, hindi na tayo, ano, hindi din tayo behind. Okay? Okay, very good. So now let's go to the common bacterial. So we have the common bacterial pathogens and the diseases they cause in the Philippines. Yun. 
Ah, uh, bibigay na ibigay ko lang yung IPM nito sa Google Drive, no? Uh, about this uh, IPM on this uh, ano, diseases. Ito ba na sa inyo? Yung integrated pest management, yung may kasamang name tree, may ganun, wala ba 'yun? Para nabigay ko ata sa inyo 'yun eh. So 'yun, so these are the ano, sinabi ko rin kanina doon sa bacterial ano, sa bacterial. So sige tayo. And then uh, how to control bacterial diseases, no? So we have cultural practices via sanitation, crop rotation or proper watering and drainage. That's that's how we are going to control the bacterial diseases in cultural practices. And also the seed treatment, soaking in a weak acid or sodium hypochlorite. That's why yung yung rice, have you observed yung rice seed, sinosok muna natin siya sa water. Diba? Tapos yung mga nag-float ay hindi yung tutubo. Meaning, uh, nagkakaroon ng empty hull. No? Nagkakaroon ng empty hull. Or, uh, meron siyang bacterial disease. Yun. And we have resistant varieties ng crops na gagamitin mo. And then, we next is, let's proceed to plant pathogenic molecules or the MLO. So, si molecules, let's say, sabihin na lang natin as small as a unit of bacteria. Ganun na lang sabihin natin, no? It's, it's also a bacteria. It's a phytoplasma. Okay? It is a mycoplasma. So, it's a mycoplasma. No, it is also a prokaryotic. No? It is a prokaryotic, but it lacks cell wall, but have a unit plasma membrane. It has a unit plasma membrane. And a plomorphic. It's a plomorphic. Sensitive to osmotic, osmotic, osmotic changes. And contain both RNA and DNA. And it has ribosome. Since it, pag sinabi, pag alam, pag alam natin na may RNA or ribonucleic acid, it means that meron talaga yan siyang kasamang protein. Ah, sorry, ribosome. Sorry, meron siyang kasamang ribosome. Kasi yung ribosome kasi, ano siya, uh, production din siya ng protein. So, may kasama yan siyang ribosomes. Yun. And it is resistant to penicillin. So, ang tawag ngayon ng penicillin is amoxicillin. As far as I know. Yun. So this is an example of mycoplasma or molecules. Okay? It has cell membrane, it has ribosome, and it contains DNA and RNA strand. Okay? So what are the characteristics of the molecules? It's sensitive to tetracycline and chlorampenicol. So ano ba sabi ginagamit yung tetracycline and chlorampenicol? Dito ha, sa plants ito ginagamit. Kasi yung trabaho kasi ng, ano, ng molecules, binablock niya yung daanan ng foods and water and nutrients. Yun. So, ang target talaga ng molecules is a phloem, yung target niya. So, it causes diseases by blocking translocation in the phloem or by interfering with plants' hormonal balance. So, ano ang ginagawa ngayon ng molecules? No? Parang siya, nag-disturb siya doon sa hormone ba balance hormone ng isang plants. And then, nagta siya din yung nagbablock ng daanan ng food. No? So, Sa atin, yung molecules natin, example, we have this lymph node. Yung lymph node natin, yung lymph node, siya yung, kumbaga, nagpo-process. No? Bago makapasok yung isang, uh, ano, uh, bago siya makapasok, dadaan mo na sa lymph node. Kasi yung lymph node, doon parang sterilize or sinosort or fini-filter out yung bacteria, di ba, sa lymph nodes. Yun. So, the the purpose of tetracycline na, na, na gamot at saka chlorampenicol is to boost your white cells to filter out those bacterial disease. Yan. So, it is sensitive. So, pag mayroong molecules na ano, so you can use tetracycline or, or uh, chlorampenicol. Okay? So, ayan. So, we have also taxonomy of the cl class molecules. Yan. Other mycoplasma tails, genera mycoplasma, esperoplasma. So, the phytoplasma, it is found in Fluem. Saan siya nakikita yung molecules? Sa fluem. And nutritionally fastidious. Mabilis siya dumami. No? It is difficult to culture in artificial media. Kasi nga, maliit siya. No? Ang kanyang genome is 5 uh, by 10 raised to the power of 8 daltons. And it can be reproduced by budding and binary fission. Yun. And it is spiroplasma helical. Relatively easy to grow. Uh, retire, uh, sorry, re requires sterols for growth. Genome size is 1 um, by 10 over 9 Dalton. So, spiroplasma. This is an example of spiroplasma molecules. Okay? So, saan yan? Example po yan ng nagkaroon ng corn stunt. Are you familiar with corn stunt? 
yung nag-wilt after, okay? So, ang tabaho ni mycoplas, ni, ni molecules, di ba, iba-block niya yung fluid. So, magkakaroon ng uh, changes or uh, uh, disturb on the hormonal change, no? Uh, in the hormones, no? Pati doon sa pagkain. So, ngayon, kakalat na yun ngayon ang myco, uh, magkakalat na ngayon yung molecules para i-block yung daanan ng fluid. So, mamamatay yung yung uh, plants kasi nga binablock na yung daanan ng fluem so hindi makakadaan yung food and water nutrients doon at the same time again ha yung fluem yung function lang ng fluem is to transport food pero yung xylem is to transport water and nutrients so sinabi ko kasi sinasabi ko lang fluem uh, binablock niya yung water and also the xylem binablock niya din yung xylem so water and nutrients kasi nga nadadamay kasi yung hormonal change, no? At the same time, pag natamaan na kasi yung isang bundles, tama na yun lahat. So, yung kinakain ng kinakain ng molecules yun, kaya madami, madali siyang dadami. So, ang nangyayari ngayon sa corn, nag-wilt or nalalanta yung corn. Nag-yellowish, no? Nag-yellowing ang kanyang uh, leaves, yun. So, at the same time, pag nag-yellowing yung kanyang leaves, mamamatay siya, no? Malalanta siya. So, paano nagkakaroon ng transmission of molecules no? via insect vectors? Pwedeng leaf hoppers, plant hoppers, and silids. No? It is believed complete their life cycle in the insect body. Sansha, it is believed that, example, if the vectors are leaf hoppers and plant hoppers, no, nakakomplete yung life cycle niya doon mismo sa mga vectors kung saan siya nakadikit, no? kung saan siya transmitted. And then transmitted mechanically by budding and it can be also Uh, in mechanically transmitted through budding and grafting. Okay? Kaya nga, di ba, pag nag-graft tayo, nilalagyan natin ng plastic to climatize, climatize, and to uh, prevent transmission of molecules. Yun. Yan. So, the disease caused by molecules is the yellowing or lethal yellowing of coconut trees. Ano ba yung lethal yellowing of coconut trees? Ito yung tawag natin death of flowers and leaves. And then, ang uh, term also is blight. No? Yan. So, this is example of Lethal yellowing of coconut leaves. So, so nagkakaroon siya ng yellow-yellow. And then, this we have here, we have the blight here. This one is the blight. Okay. So, namamatay yung, this is a dead cell. Yung mga, uh, this is a dead cell already caused by a molecules. Okay. So, ito yung mangyayari. Ano yung target niya? The flower and also the leaves. So, hanggang mamatay siya. Yellow, lethal yellowish of the coconut. So, hindi lang kadang-kadang. Iba po yung kadang-kadang. Yung kadang-kadang disease doon, uh, ang kanyang target talaga is yung tissues mismo. Ano, tissues, uh, sinisip kasi talaga yun. At saka yung ano din, uh, ano yung uso ngayon na, ano, na disease sa coconut, nakalimutan ko na. Ano ngayon na fly, nakalimutan ko na. <laughs> Aside sa kadang-kadang disease, meron po yun eh. Yan, kadang-kadang disease sa virus. No, it's a virus. Ayun, so that, eh, this is an example of a lethal yellowing uh, a molecules or a bacteria for ano, uh, uh, coconut. Paano malaman yan? Kasi usually may mga ganyan, no, caused by, ano, caused by El Nino or a uh, higher temperature of uh, sunlight. Pero din yun, no, nagkakos siya. So ang nangyari ngayon is that, paano malaman yan sa nagsastart? Sa fruits po yan nagsastart nagkakaroon ng lethal yellowing sa fruits hanggang mapunta sa leaves. And then, meron din yan sa yung bagong ano pa lang, bagong shoot pa lang na leaves, bagong bukas or bagong blossom pa lang na leaves, na nagkakaroon siya ng yellowish. So, yun. Nagkakaroon ng yellowish, namamatay siya. Blight ang tawag po dun. Yellowish, lethal yellowish, blight. Meron din yan sa rice, no? Uh, sa rice din, meron din yan yung sinasabi na ano, Sir, ano naman no, kulang daw sa nitrogen. Hindi naman sa kulang nitrogen yan. Then, ang tawag na blight. Pag blight, ibig sabihin nag-yellowish siya, nag-lethal yellowing siya. At the same time, nagkakaroon din siya ng spot-spot na black. It means nagkakaroon siya ng dead cell. So, hindi lang siya sa leaves na na-attack yung blight. Also sa fruits. Usually, nagkakaroon ng blight pag vegetative stage ng rice or milking stage ng rice. Ayan. Okay. So, what are the management to control these molecules? And you have proper control of insect vectors, yun. resistant varieties, uh, molecules, free planting materials, removal of alternate hosts such as weeds. No? Because weeds can be a vector also or alternate host for the molecules. And then sanitation measures and then use of tetracycline antibiotic if feasible. Okay, pwedeng gamitan yan. Okay? Now, 
Uh, did you understand the bacteriology and the molecules? Raise your hand if you understand the molecules and the ano uh, bacteriology. Gusto ko malaman. 19 ba? Parang hindi ata nila na intindihan eh. Okay ba? Naintindihan niyo ba ako? Hello? Parang natulog na ata lahat ah. Nandiyan pa ba kayo? Hello? Anong ha sa'yo? Ayun. Did you understand class? Okay. Bantay ha? Bukas pag malaman ko na mali, ma, ano, maikli lang, ano lang, alit lang scores din nyo, bantay kayo sa akin. Wala kayong tanong? So, I can proceed to mycology. Okay. So, let's proceed to mycology. So, na may tanong dyan. Charot. Sir, ano po yung signs and symptoms to determine kung anong particular pathogen yung infect, infect sa plant? Ayan. Thank you very much. That's actually good question, Nariza Jimenez. Charot. Ayan. So we have, sir, ano po yung, ano po signs and symptoms to determine kung anong particular pathogen yung nag-infect uh, sa plant? Uh, kung baga, generalize mo, tanong mo is, ano yung, ano, uh, ano yung symptoms or sign? Uh, kasi nakadepende yan, no, sa diseases na uh, na-infected siya. So, yung tanong kasi is generalized siya. So, ano yung ano, yung common siguro yung tanong niya, common na symptom ng ano, common symptom ng infect, infected plants. Tama ba? Yun ba yung term mo? Yung minimin mo? Ano yung common symptom ng infected plants? Tama? Common signs and symptom of infected plants. Yan ba yung minimin mo? Kasi ano yan eh. Dep nakadepende kasi yan sa nakadepende kasi yan sa ano, sa disease. Yun. Okay, so uh, the common signs uh, Common symptoms of plant diseases is ano, uh, leaf spot, yon, leaf spot, uh, dead, discolored, yon, or injured areas of tissues that usually have distinct margins. Tapos spots often appear sa leaves tsaka sa fruit niya. Tapos pag blight naman, yun ay leaf spot ha. Sa leaf spot, nagkakaroon ng dead, discolored, injured areas. Yung kanina lang kita nyo sa yellowing, lethal yellowing coconut uh, leaf. Ang tawag po doon, yung yung black black, yun ang tinatawag na dead cells or dead lips. Lips pat po yun, tawag doon. So, uh, naga, that was, diba, nakita nyo, nagkakaroon ng discoloring, yun. Tapos, nagkakaroon din siya ng spots, no? nag-appear doon sa leaves, di ba? Tapos, pag blight, also blight din, pag sa blight naman, is rapid yellowing, nag-yellow, mabilis, mabilis siyang mag-yellow. Browning, nagko-collapse yung uh, stock mismo or yung kanyang ano, petioles or nagko-collapse siya mismo yung plants. And then yung uh, death of leaves, no? pwedeng kamatay ng leaves. And then shoots, no? stems, flowers, or the entire plant. 
no so yun ang common symptoms of plant diseases okay yun ang common symptoms dalawa lang leaf spot tsaka blight yung common symptoms yun talaga ang common symptoms okay thank you for that Wait lang ha, kasi may isi-send mo na ako. Okay. So, did you get it? Did you get the point now? Oh, sige na. Para makapag-proceed na din ako. So, sa, uh, sa mycology tayo. Okay? Okay, let's now proceed to mycology or the fungal plant pathogens. Uh, fungal plant pathogens, it is a eukaryotic cells. Okay? It is a eukaryotic cells. Pag sabi eukaryotic cells, it has a uh, nucleus. Okay? It, ha it doesn't have a cell wall. So, it means that it has a... Uh, reproduction of unicellular okay or crossing unicellular i better dito oh, sorry cross walls para cross walls unicellular so pag fungal plant pathogens is a non chlorophyll berry ano yung mga non chlorophyll berry what do you mean by non chlorophyll berry hindi kailangan ng sunlight example we have the mushrooms yun non chlorophyll berry yun sila then we, with uh non ibig sabihin hindi, hindi na sila ano hindi na nagre-reproduce ng chlorophyll And then with branch filamentous, yun, branch filamentous, ano yung tawag sa branch filamentous, yung parang nagkakatay-katay siya na fungi side. That, that's what they call mycelium. That's vegetative structure called mycelium. Have you observed sa mushroom, teka, hanapan ko ng sample niyan. Mushroom lab. Have you observed sa mushroom, sa paggawa ng mushroom, meron niyang parang kulay white, That is what we call mycelium. Okay? Hanapan ko kaya ng sample. Kasi maganda pag may sample. Kasi nakikita talaga. Okay, so this is an example of a uh, mycelium. Kita niyo yung kulay white na yan. Okay, so yung kulay white na yan, that is what we call mycelium. Yun. So yung mga nag-fruit-fruit na, that is a mushroom. Okay, yung kulay white na yan, ang tawag po dyan ay mycelium. Okay, so ang ginamit nila dyan na ano, raw materials is rice hull. Yun. Kami ginagamitan namin ng rice straw. Siguro healthy talaga pag rice ang gamit. Ayan. Okay, so, yun, tawag dyan ay mycelium, yung kanyang filamentous. And then, uh, some are not filamentous. No? Uh, some of the of fungi is not filamentous. Like talus of uh, sensitrium as species and sac saccharomyces which is unicellular yon unicellular ibig sabihin sa unicellular makalat lang siya kumakalat lang ganyan ganyan tapos cross wall na naman siya dadaan naman siya ng ganun so that is unicellular so have cross wall septa or continuous conocytic okay so this one is example of fungi sorry so this is an example of fungi Okay, this one here. This one here. Okay, this is an example of fungal disease. Ayan. This one here. Okay. So, uh, the fungal possess true nuclei and 
cell walls. Okay? It is possessed through nuclei and cell walls. Produced mainly by spores. Oh, it is only uh, produced uh, mainly by spores ang fungi. Okay? Sexually and asexually. So, meron tayong three types of production na mainly by spores, no? We have hermaprodetic, no? Pag sinabing hermaprodetic, produce both male and female gametes on the same mycelium. Example nito ay mushroom. Best example ng her hermaprodetic is, ma is mushroom. Kasi ang term is produce only. It can produce both male gametes tsaka female gametes. Walang fertilization nangyari. So sa hermaprodetic, it means that it can only produce, this type of fungi can only produce uh, male gametes and female gametes. Pero walang nangyayaring fertilization on the same mycelium. Example, in this mycelium na yan, no, this part right here is producing male gametes and this part right here, right here is producing female gametes. Ganon. So that is hermaprodetic. Example niyan ay mushroom. Okay? And we have this homotalic, no? Homotalic. Yan. Homotalic spores naman, a male gametes can fertilize female gametes on the same mycelium. Ibig sabihin, nagkakaroon ng fertilization. After it's, so, uh, makapag-produce siya, no? Pwede siyang mag-fertilize din, no? Kaya, example, this is the male and this is the female, no? Sa isang mycelium, pwede mag-fertilize, no? Si male gametes at saka si, doon kay female gametes, no? It can fertilized. Okay? So, that is homotalic. And we have heterotalic. Heterotalic is a male gametes can fertilize female gametes on the different mycelium. Okay? Male gametes can fertilize female gametes on the different mycelium. Ano ibig sabihin yan? No? If this is another mycelium and the other mycelium, so maghahanap siya ng compatibility. So if this is having a male, male gametes and this one having is female gametes, so magkakaroon sila ng fertilization um, appearing, no? Or magkakaroon ng uh, uh, sex center course, no? So that is heterotalic. Okay? So kaya actually pwede din dito ang hermaprodetic. Example, if this type of mycelium produces both male and female and the other mycelium is also producing male and female, so if they're going to have a sexual reproduction, they can. Ganon. So, that is heterotalic. Okay? So, these are the three uh, uh, produced mainly by spores. Sexually and asexually, we have hermaprodetic, homotalic, and heterotalic. Okay? So, we have also the classification of plant pato pathogenic uh, fungi. So, the 11 fungi fungal phyla meron tayo. So, Hindi na ako mag-discuss more, more on that because di naman nalabas sa exam talaga yun. Okay? So, three kingdoms under the domain of eukaryotic. So, we have kingdom cro chromesta or sta, uh, straminopilia under phylum oomycota, hypokytridiomycota, la labyrinthologicota. So, this is under the kingdom chromesta. Okay? So, now, under we have also kingdom fungi. No, and we have here phylum Cytridiomycota, hindi naman yan, Zygomycota. Uh, ito, kailangan nyo itong isearch more about this, about phylum, about Cytridiomycota, uh, Zygomycota, Ascomycota, and Basidiomycota. Kung gusto nyo malaman more, pero I recommend na ito yung hanapin nyo. Sila malabas ito sa board exam, itong tatlo. Okay? So we have also Kingdom Protesta or Protozoa. We have plus, uh, phylum Plasmodio. Oro my, my quota. Uh, ayan. Hindi naman ito nalabas yung iba. So, never mind na lang ito. Okay? Okay, so the true fungi or the kingdom fungi, it doesn't have chlorophyll. No chlorophyll. And it is a thread-like mycelium. Yan sabi ko sa inyo, parang eh, ganyan siya, unicellular lang. It's a thread-like mycelium. Okay? And then, cell walls contain chitin and glucans. Kung sa bacteria, ang tawag sa cell walls ay peptidoglycans, Sa fungi naman, ang tawag sa kanya ay C10 and glucans. Okay? And a fungi is a large group of microorganisms, which is, ito yung, para malaman nyo talaga na it is a fungi, 
Ito yung characteristics na kailangan nyo i-familiarize. That fungi is a rust, smut, powdery mildews, and wood rotting. Yun. Yan ha, yung yan yung lagi nyo isipin. That fungi is, eh, the true fungi is a rust, smut, powdery, powdery mildew, and wood rotting. So, pag yan lang dyan sa board exam, alam nyo na agad na, pag nakita nyo ang rust, pakita nyo yung smut, pakita nyo yung powdery mildew and wood rotting, alam nyo na agad na that is fungi. That's a true fungi. So, ano yung pinagkaiba din na sa bacteria? Di ba? Yellowing, bacteria. Spotting, bacteria. Oh, brown spot, bacteria. Oh, black spot, bacteria. So, pag rust, fungi, yun. Gets nyo na? And there are some are beneficial types. So, we have edible, which is mushrooms, which is edible yan. So, maraming klaseng mushrooms. We have um, oyster mushroom, volvalaria, no? volvarilla, so volvarilla, ito, uh, gamit banana, yun. Uh, plurot, ito, pl plurotus, oyster, gamit ang uh, rice straw or rice hull, yun. And auricularata, tayo ng daga, yun. Gamit ang uh, uh or uh, auricularia pala auricularia tayo ng daga and we have the brewers yeast and antibiotic producing penicillin okay so this one is the the uh dote oromycetes or imperfect fungi bakit tinawag siyang deteromycetes or imperfect fungi because this type of spores ng fungi is can only be reproduced by a uh, asexual spores Okay? Hindi siya pwedeng ma-reproduce sa sexual. Only asexual spores ang pwedeng ma-produce. Except kay actinomycetes, basidi, uh, uh, basidomycetes, zytomycetes. Yung sila, pwede silang i-reproduce via sexual reproduction or asexual reproduction. Except for the doteromycetes, no? Pag doteromycetes, only for asexual spores. Always put that in your mind, ha? Doteromycetes, it can only be reprodu reproduced by a uh, asexual spores or asexual reproduction or conidia okay and produce in asexual fruiting structures such as pycinidia or acervoli okay so these are the genus that you need to know because this is very important uh lalabas din to sa quiz niyo tomorrow okay so we have alternaria which is a leaf spots and blights on many crop plants bipolaris ito lumabas itong bipolaris Leaf spot in cereal plants. Ito, botrytis, gray mold, rat in uh, strawberry and other crops. Corvularia, leaf spots in the grass family. Diplodia, causes fruit rot. Yan, yung mga causal agent niya. We have oidium, powdery mildews in many plants. We have pastaliotia, leaf spot and uh, fruit spots. And we have rhizoctonia, rhizoctonia sorry, or rotting of leaves, stems, and rats. And roots, yun. So, these are the things that you need to know or you need to familiarize in genus Deuteromycetes or the imperfect fungi. Okay? Kasi lumalabas talaga si Deuteromycetes or imperfect fungi. So, there is also plant pathogenic pseudofungi or another kingdom, Chromista. So, we have the pseudofungi. We have oomycetes. They can be produced both asexual and sexual reproduction have been placed under kingdom, Chromista, along with brown algae and diatoms. And have no phylogenetic relationship with the uh, fungi. So it means, which means that oomycetes or the sort of fungi, it doesn't have phylogenetic relationship with the fungi. Just like bacteria, a bacteria is also a no uh, is is no phylogenetic relationship with the other bacteria or the other diseases. Okay, so it is a uni and multicellular reproduction. It is also filamentous or colonial with chloroplast nga lang siya. So si sodos fungi or si oomycetes isa yung magkakaiba sa sa ano sa fungi kingdom fungi because kingdom promesta under fungi because uh, it can on kasi alam natin ang true fungi ang true fungi no chlorophyll no so itong type ng fungi which is oomycetes it has a chloroplast okay so it means this, this is not a true fungi it is a pseudo fungi okay so, their cell walls contain glucan, cellulose, and hydroxyproline. Uh, unequal, uh, biflagellate, zoopores, and reproduce sexually by gametangel, contact to produce thick-walled oospheres. Yun. 
Class oomycetes, uh, union of antridium and oogonium or spores, colonocytic bacillium, okay, and then produced by flagellate zoopores in zooporangia. So, wag na kayo medyo maestas dun sa mga zoo, zoo, zoo. Uh, to give you an, also a simple definition on zoopo, zoospores, pag sinabing zoospores, kasi maraming spores, yun. Maraming type na bilog, bilog, bilog na butas, butas. So that is a zoospores which is nagkakaroon or nagre-reproduce ng thick walled oospores no to ano uh, kaya nga kaya nga siya nagkakaroon ng uh, nagka nagpo-produce ng weed uh, kaya siyang weed chloroplast kasi nga because of the oospores a uh, zoos zoospores that producing thick wall for oospores ayun so that is so the fungi okay so we have also genus five uh, five fume uh, causes dumping off yeah this one five fume spp or species Causes dumping of root rats, cottony, phytophthora. And we have P infestans, phytium infestans, causes blight, uh, late blight of potato. And we have the uh, phytium palmivora, causing coconut bud rat. Okay, in the family Albogenesi, no form of sporangia in chain known as the white rat. This one, do not forget, the white rat is under the family Albogenesi. Okay, it is a form of sporangia in chain. Nung year 2012 to 2015, sunod-sunod ito ang tanong about sa white rust. Anong under family ang white rust? Baka hindi natin alam, baka lawas din sa board exam yan. It is a change of sporangia, uh, spores, zoospores of the fungi. Yun, so to produce uh, soil wall, thicken soil wall for the spores. Yun, so that is under family albogenesis. Okay, so genus albogu. And then we have Albogonaceae, Gonaceae candida, sorry, cause white rust of crucifers. Example, we have crucifers, Crepolio, yun. And then we have Albogenaceae, uh, Ipomoceae, we have Pandorans, uh, infects sweet potato, yung mga hamote, yun. And we have family Peronosporaceae. And then bear sporangia uh, on sporangia spores, yeah, and that are characteristically branched obligate parasites. Okay, so called the downy mildews due to the diseases they cause. Yon, under so downy mildews, called downy mildews, it is affected under the family of Peronosporaceae. Okay, so pag siya, ano ibig sabihin ng obligate parasites? Diba, na discuss na natin, ano ibig sabihin, na discuss na atin natin dati kung ano ibig sabihin ng obligate parasites. Kasi madaming klaseng obligate, right? Ma ah, sorry. Kasi pag sinabi natin obligate parasites, it is, ano example ng obligate parasites? Yung raflesha, they are obligate parasites, no? Yung coronavirus, they are obligate parasites. Kuto, they are obligate parasites. Because obligate parasites, it is a parasite that, mag-discuss na natin yan, depends on a host. No? Nakadepends lang siya sa host. For its nourishment, para mabuhay siya. Okay? Nakadepende lang siya sa uh, host para mabuhay siya. Para dumami at mag at uh, habitat din niya and survival. Example is the raflesia. It is a parasitic plants, right? And with all it and will it and it will not be able to survive if away from the host. So from pag, pag malayo siya sa host niya, hindi siya mabubuhay. Yon. So, we have raflesia, kuto, ano pa, uh, coronavirus. So, there are obligate parasites. Okay? Obligate parasites can only be, can only be live ng matagal pag malapit siya sa host or may host siya. Kung wala, di wala din. Ganon. Did you get it? Guys, I think this is the last slide. Okay, wait, ha? No, mayroon pa pala. Mayroon pa pala. We have genus peronos clis as a class, Slerospora. So we have P. Pilip, uh, Pilipinensis, yan, caused by downy mildew of corn. Yan, P. Viticola, causes downy mildew of grape. Yan, Tabacena, by tabako. Yan, Lactosia, by lettuce, downy mildew of uh, lettuce. And we have this Cobensis, causes downy mildew of cucurbitis. Cucurbit, sorry. Yan. And these are the major distinctions between the Oomycota in the Chromista and the true fungi. Ayun. Ano pinagkaiba nila? Okay? So, pag sexual production, reproduction, sorry, 
O may kota is heterogamitan dya. Fertilization of oospheres by nuclei from anterior dya forming oospores. Pag true fungi naman, oospores not produced, it doesn't have also, sorry, sexual reproduction results in zyospores, asospores, and basidiospores. Pag nuclear state of vegetative mycelium, ang oh my kota is diploid. Pag diploid, it means that is a 50-50 to 100. While true fungi, it is haploid or dicaryotic or let's say half, 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 and one-fourth, one-fourth, parang 0.25, 0.25, 25%, 25%, plus 25%, plus 25%, 25%. So, ganun. That is haploid. Okay, so we have cell wall composition. Sa omicota, ito sa beta-glocans. Bakit siya beta-glocans? Kasi nga, makapal yung kanyang cell wall. Yun. Yun. And then, cellulose din siya. Uh, sorry, wala pala siya cell wall. Makapal yung kanyang cell membrane. Sorry. Yung beta-glocans. And then, cellulose. And then, yung true fungi niya, we have, pag true fungi, it has chitin. Chitin is the another word, cell wall word for, term for fungi. Cellulose rarely present. Yun. And then, pag type of flagella on zoospores, if produced, we have heterocont. Hindi na masyado siya relevant. So, huwag na lang natin yan. Mitochondria, eto. O may kota. So, with tubular cristae, ang mitochondria. Sa tubular type, ang mitochondria ng o may kota. Sa true fungi is flatten ang mitochondria niya. Diba? Sa loob ng eukaryotic cell, merong nucleus. Meron din dyan, ano... Uh, mitochondria and other organelles such as Golgi apparatus, ribosomes, ganon. So, and other organelles, cytoplasm, ganon. So, mitochondrial type ang kanyang oh my god, ang, ang, ang mitochondria ng oh my god. Ibig pag tubular, ganito. So, pag flattened, ibig sabihin flat na siya pag ganito yung kanyang uh, mitochondria sa true fungi. Okay. And then we have the protozoa as plant pathogens. We have the kingdom protozoa. Okay. A is myzo, my, sorry, myxomycetes of slime molds. Yun. Form naked amorphous plasmodea. Pag sinabing amorphous, form naked amorphous, it is a shapeless type. Shapeless type of fungi. Yun. Aha. Hindi naman na siya doon ano yung iba dito. Ito na lang. Mind ninyo. This one. Brassicae, cause of club root of cabbage and other cosifers. This one also, cause of powder scab of potato tubers, subterranean. Yan, yan ang imay ninyo. And this one, heart rot. This one, heart rot disease of coconut. So we have reportedly caused by flagellate protozoa. Okay. Okay, so we have Pythomonas, Leptobasarum, believed to be the cause of phloem necrosis of coffee in Sorinam. So ito, itasama na natin ito. Pythomonas, Leptobasarum, believed to be the cause of phloem necrosis of coffee in Sorinam. So that is protozoa as plant pathogens. Okay? So that will be the discussion that we have for tonight. Did you get it, guys? Naintindihan ba ninyo? Masyado mabilis si sir. Don't worry, because it's recorded, you can rewatch. watch Did you get it? Nag-gets nyo ba? Sige nga, kung nag-gets ninyo, tanungin ko nga kayo isa-isa. Huwag kayong umalis, ha? Okay, let's start with Erica Joy. Okay. Okay, my question is, Uh, what are the sign of a plant that is infected by fungi? Sign or symptoms, sorry. Sign or symptoms of a plant infected by fungi. Ano yung apat? Ano nga yung apat? Hello? Yung ras at ka, ras is mat, ganun sir. Ras? Ras is mat, powdery mildews, and 
yung rating fungi would rating fungi. So yun ang mga signs and symptoms that plants is infected by fungi. Thank you. How about you, Jason? Jason. Yan. My question, my question goes to Jason. Goes to Jason. My question goes to Jason. Hi, Jason. Jason C. Jason C. Look at us, Jason C. Jason C. Wala na. Okay, how about si Jemalin C? Jemalin C? Jemalin, are you there? Tulog na din natin si Jemalin. How about si Ma'am Noriza Jimenez? Noriza C? Hi, Ma'am Noriza. Wala din, tulog na. Lorena, Lorena C? Ma'am Lorena, hello? Tulog na din. Ayan, Evangeline Subebe. Evangeline Subebe. Na na, tulog na din. How about si Carl Gumban? Carl? Yes, sir. Ay. Ay. Ay, kising pa pala si Evangeline. So, ayan. Sumagot pa. Hi, Evangeline. Good evening. Ano yung ha sa'yo? So, ito yung tanong ko sa'yo. Ano yung ha sa'yo? Ito yung tanong ko sa'yo. <laughs> okay. Ang tanong ko sa'yo is, what do you call the cell wall of bacteria? Yung peptido glycan po, sir. Very good. It's peptido glycan. How about the fungi? How about the fungi? Okay, pasagot natin kay Chili. Thank you very much, Evangeline. Gumab sam ni da, Evangeline Shi. So let's proceed to Chili Shi. Hi, Chili. Hello, sir. Ayan, yung ha sa'yo. Ang tanong ko sa'yo ay, what do you call the cell membrane of the fungi? Glucan, sir. Glucan and? Glucan and? Sa pangalan mo lang. Chitin, chitin. Oh, chitin, yes. Chitin and glucan. So, ang tawag sa cell membrane ng fungi ay chitin and glucan. Now, my question is, what type, I mean, what fungi, and the kingdom fungi, uh, I'm sorry. what phylum of fungi is only reproducing, uh, is, 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 can only be reproduced by a asexual reproduction. What phylum of fungi can only be produced via asexual reproduction? Chili Prokaryote. Hmm, prokaryote. Uh, binary fusion. Hmm, bacteria yan. Asexual reproduction ang tanong natin, meaning... Fungi yung tanong ko. Anong klaseng fungi, phylum fungi, ang nagre-reproduce lang ta siya via asexual reproduction? Ano? It starts with letter D, dog. Where? It is. Tanungin kaya natin si ano. Thank you very much, Chili Shi. Kumab samida. Yon. Let's. I will ask si Mam Eden. Hi, Mam Eden. Ah, sorry. Hi, Eden Shi. 
Erin Chi, nandiyan ka pa ba, Ma'am Eden? Uh, si Jazz na lang, Jazz. Jazz. Jazz, ano yung hasiyo? Ano yung hasiyo? Si Jazz, wala na, tulog na din. Okay, anong tawag doon? It is? Deuteromycet. Ay, yes, correct. It's Deutero my seeds. Ayun. Ano nga ang reproduction ng bacteria? Binary fission. Binary fission. Ang molecules? Ang molecules? Ah, parang bacteria din yan. It is by binary Fission. How about ang um, fungi? Ano yung kanyang reproduction? Baya? Starts with letter S. Spores. Very good. Spores or unicellular or also known as vegetative unicellular are also called mycelium. Ayan. So bukas, you'll have a long, long quiz on this tomorrow. So ayan. So, yan lang muna ngayong gabi. Okay? So, hopefully marami kayong natutunan. So, I will send the file doon sa inyong G-Drive. G -drive. Ah, ngayon na talaga. I-send ko talaga. Wait lang. Takot naman ako. Wait lang. Okay. Check ko lang. Sandali ha. Ayun. So, Yun ang ating discussion for tonight. Okay?